Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. This morning, Luke chapter 19, verses 11 through 15. Now, as they heard these things, he spoke another parable, because he was near Jerusalem, and because they thought the kingdom of God would appear immediately. Therefore, he said, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. So he called ten of his servants, delivered to them ten minas, and said to them, Do business till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And so it was that when he returned, having received the kingdom, he then commanded these servants, to whom he had given the money, to be called to him, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. So let's just pause there. We're going to chop this into about four pieces. Did you ever notice this in this parable? It's kind of interesting. Uh, what you have here is you have this ruler. He's going away to receive his kingdom. But there's some people that absolutely hate him and refuse to be ruled by him. They send a delegation after him. A lot of times we don't think about this. We just look about the uh, the ten and the five and the one uh, talents or minus that were hidden. But here we see a little bit, there's a little bit bigger picture. We include the first and the last piece. And especially the very last verse you'll be surprised about. Might not have even noticed it was there. We have a group of people here that don't want to be ruled by him. Now, uh, he has every right. He's going to go and receive his kingdom on a legitimate basis. He has every right. But they send a delegation after him. And what happens is he receives the kingdom anyway. And so now these, these guys are kind of tried not to be ruled by him. Now they're stuck with him. And we'll see what happens again in the last verse of this section. But... But uh, interesting business there. There's always a group of people out there who, who are determined to be trouble. They're determined to do it their own way. They're determined to not be ruled. They're, they're, they're chaos. They are self, uh, self-worshipping sorts. If we're not careful, we'll find ourselves in that mix, some of us, you know. So we want to be, are we willing to be ruled by a good ruler? Or do we have to be the, the, the ruling guy? I mean, that was the devil's problem, wasn't it? He wanted to ascend above the heights of the clouds. He wanted to be worshipped by the angels. He wanted to be treated as though he were the most high. But he was just a created creature who had gone gone altogether astray by his own means. And so, yes, no, he doesn't get to be, he doesn't get to be God. Sorry. No, absolutely not. So here we have a group of people here who are uh, full of trouble. They go after him, and they're trying to prevent him from receiving the kingdom. There are people who will do their utmost today to keep things the way they want them or to get them the way they want them, shape them up the way they want them, and they would never, ever be willing to receive Jesus in his kingdom. So we've got to be able to be flexible. We've got to be able to say, hey, wait a minute. God knows everything. I know a tiny fraction of a tiny fraction. God's way might be the best way. <laughs> We've got to be able to say that, you know. We've got to be able to really be willing to realize that as creatures, being ruled by the infinite God who made us and knows us by design, that is going to be, I think, the best thing. Yeah? Not a surprise, but let's pray. Father in heaven, as we start working our way through this, this uh, interesting teaching of Jesus, we notice there are people who are always contrary, always contrary to your approach to things. Oh, well, Lord, you go carry on, you go forward, help us to come along with you and help us to be have a willingness in our hearts to consider and hopefully, Lord, a, a appreciation for your goodness and a desire to have you be our king. Please, Lord. And then as we carry on and study, we want to make sure we use the talents you have given us for your good and your glory, the glory of your kingdom. Help us with that as we carry on in our study. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, friend, you have a, a really special day. May God give you special divine appointments. May you be an encourager for someone else who doesn't quite get it. There are some people out there who don't quite get it. You go tell them.